Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A, and I love math. And today, we're doing Lesson 98 in Addition 2, which is Lesson 97 in Addition 3. We're talking about two-step problems. And these are kind of like clues for a treasure here. Um, if 2x plus 4 equals 6, what is the value of 3x minus 7? So the problem we have to solve is this one, but this one is the clue that we need to get to this one. And so we have to solve this equation to be able to write the result here. So it's kind of like a mystery. All right, so we need to solve the clue in order to find the treasure. Right, so we have to solve this to get this. So how would we solve this equation? 2x plus 4 equals 6. Okay, so now we're going to try to get the x by itself. And the x is in only one spot, which is convenient. So we need to get rid of that 4, don't we? So we're going to subtract a 4 and subtract a 4 on the other side. Remember, we always do the same thing on both sides. And we wind up bringing down the 2x. This cancels, and we get a 2. Well, if 2x is equal to 2, then don't we just divide both sides by 2 and we find out that x equals 1. So we solve the clue. And now we go to the part that we're really trying to figure out. This is the answer to the question, but we can't get to it unless we solve the clue. So 3 times 1, so let's write it out, 3 times 1, because that's what the x is, minus 7, and that's going to be 3 take away 7 is negative 4. So the answer to the first one is negative 4. So we'll write, get rid of this. That was solving the clue. We'll say negative 4 was the answer to the question that we were trying to find. That was the treasure that we were trying to find was solving that. Okay, so that is your first little example. And here we come back with some more. All right, so here is example 2. If 4x minus 2 equals 3, what is the value of 2 fifths x minus 1 fourth? So again, we have to find this in order to be able to find this. So to solve this one, we're going to add a 2 to get the 4x by itself, and we'll do that on both sides. We get 4x, this cancels, equals 5, and x is... If I divide by 4 on both sides, my x is 5 fourths. Okay, does everybody see that? Divide by 4, divide by 4, that's going to cancel, and that's going to be 5 fourths. So now I have the clue solved, and now I can plug it in here. So everywhere I see an x right here, I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to put in a 5 fourths. And there was only one x, so I could only do that one place. So 5 and 5, won't those two cancel each other out? So we cancel and cancel 2 fourths minus 1 fourth. 2 fourths minus 1 fourth is 1 fourth. And the answer to the treasure is 1 fourth. Okay, so we're trying to get this answer, but in order to get that answer, we must answer the clue. Okay, so that was example two. Here is our last example. Okay, so if four-thirds x minus two equals four, what is the value of six x minus two-fifths? Okay, so there is the example, and now we will do it. We have to figure out the clue to get the answer here. So we need to get the 4 thirds x by itself. So we need to get rid of the negative 2. We're going to add a 2 to cancel it out. So now we get 4 thirds x equals 4 plus 2 is 6. And this cancels out. So now, anytime I have a fraction that I need to get rid of, 
I like to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 4 thirds, which is 3 fourths, but I must do the same thing over here. So I'm multiplying both sides by 3 fourths, which is legal. And then notice that the 3 and the 3 and the 4 and the 4 cancel, and I get my x all by itself. So let's see what the x equals. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these here because they canceled out. X is equal to what? Okay, now 18 over 4, because remember that 6 is a 6 over 1. I could cancel the 6 and the 4, or I could just go ahead and set it's 18 over 4, but that needs to be simplified. Can I go ahead and divide both the 18 and the 4 by a 2? And the answer is yes. So X is equal to 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 4 divided by 2 is 2, so x is equal to 9 halves. And we have the information that we need to answer our question. So now we're going to take the 9 halves, we're going to put it right here where the x is. Okay, now remember the 6 is a 6 over 1, so isn't the 6 and the 2 going to cancel? And that's going to be divided by 2 on both of those, 3. 1, 3 times 9 is 27 over 1 minus 2 fifths. What is 27 minus 2 fifths? Well, if we had this in um, this form, it would be a little clearer. 27 minus 2 fifths. Let's put it in our vertical form. Remember when we have something in the vertical form, don't we have to get something fifths up here? So remember, we borrow here, or rename, and we make this one five fifths. Do you remember that? So now we have five fifths minus two fifths is three fifths, and then 26 and three fifths. And there is our third example. And it's time for us to do some practice problems. Are you ready? Here's our first practice problem. So you need to get this down on your board so that you can go do it by yourself. If 2x minus 4 equals 6, what is the value of 3x plus 2? You might want to skip counting copying this part because all you really need is those two, right? You need to solve this one to figure out the answer to this one. So copy those down and pause your video. Hopefully you did that. And now we are going to solve this so that we can figure out what this is. So here we have the x in one spot, so we need to get rid of the negative 4. We will add a 4 and add a 4 to the other side. And now we have 2x this cancels, equals 10. Ooh, this one's easy, isn't it? Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 5. So now that we've solved the clue, we can go down here and replace the x with the 5, and the mystery is solved. 15 plus 2 is 17, and that's all there is to it. So hopefully that was the answer to your first. You got that one right. And we'll come back with another one. All right, this is example B, and we'll have one more after this. If 5x minus 2 is 5, what is the value of 10x minus 3? Copy it down. Pause your video. All right, so let's go ahead and see if you were right. We need to get the x by itself, so we will add 2 to both sides. So add 2 and add 2, and now we get 5x cancel equals 7. So x is, all right, let's show the work. Divide by 5, divide by 5, cancel, x is seven-fifths. So now we got our clue solved. 
So now all we have to do is take the 7 fifths and put it down here for the X. So let's take the X out, put in the 7 fifths. Remember that the 10 is on top and the 1 is on bottom. So can't we cancel the 10 and the 5? Because we can take a 5 out of the 10, leaving a 2. We can divide this by 5, leaving a 1. And we end up with 14 over 1, or just 14, minus 3 is 11. That one was pretty easy too, wasn't it? Here is the last example, well, practice problem for you. All right, if 1 fifth x is 3 tenths, what is the value of 15x plus 2? So we have to solve this to be able to find this. So now look at this. We have an x by itself except for the 1 fifth that it's multiplied by. What if I got rid of the 1 fifth by multiplying both sides by 5? I'm going to move this because we don't really need it anymore. I want to get rid of the 1 fifth, so I'm going to multiply by 5 over 1, which is the reciprocal, and I must do the same thing on the other side. The 5's cancel, the 1's cancel, I'm left with just x. And x is 15 over 10, or we can cancel a 5 out of both of those, 2, 1 is 3 halves. And 15 over 10 does become 3 halves. Now we found our clue. Let's come down here and find our treasure. So we're going to take our x out and we're going to plug in a 3 halves. That's a plus sign there. Okay, so 15 times 3 halves. Let's just go ahead and multiply it. 15 times 3 is 45 halves plus 2. But remember, it's kind of hard to do that because we don't have a common denominator. Remember, the 2 is a 2 over 1. And if I want to, and I want to, I can multiply by 2 over 2, which is 1. And that's going to give me 4 halves. So instead of 2 over 1, let's, let's add 4 halves which 45 halves plus 4 halves is going to lead us to 49 halves. So the answer to your last practice problem was 49 halves. And we are done with lesson 98. And this is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.